going to tell you about good morning everyone today ayjana is going to tell you about teens at work changing lives and society imagine a world where teenagers have after school jobs how would this impact their lives and our society so moving to slide number 2 Imagine if teenagers had to get after school jobs it could change how they act and learn important stuff getting a job might them how to responsible how to be responsible and manage their time but we need to be careful because it could also make school and other activities less so if we will uh, do something it will uh, surely have one positive impact and a negative one so jobs teach responsibility time management and essential skills that is the positive impact and balancing work with academics and extra curricular activities with uh, like it's a lot of burden so it's a challenging it's very challenging so moving to slide number 3 this change would not just affect the teens it could also change our whole society on the good side it might take a bunch of skilled workers in the future but it could also make things more stressful and people might not gain community activities as much as much as they are doing right now moving to slide number 4 think about families yes you are thinking right impact uh, when we are doing after school jobs it will definitely impact our family also how let me tell you if teens have jobs they can help with money at home yeah finance they can financially ease family pressure but it might also mean less time with family talking openly in families will be really important to make it work and if we will do after school jobs then absolutely we are going to uh, talk with families less than we are doing right now so moving to slide number 5 impact on individual's life as i have already told you for each person having a job as a team could be a big deal it's not just about money they might learn how to manage things yeah it's right so we are now uh, moving to the conclusion in the end making teens work after school isn't just about money it's about how it changes teens families all of us it's good to um, think about good things and tricky parts too now here goes the challenging part question and answer round so i want all of you to answer at least one question or at least try so here goes the first question how do you envision the balance between the positive aspects and challenges uh, that our teens are facing for after school jobs like so ma'am i need uh, like uh, i need your help so uh, uh, whoever raises uh, his or her hand you can uh, unmute Uh, his or her and uh, they can speak all right to so have you who has understood the question or who would like to first respond to the question that jiana has asked ma'am ma i can full question the question uh, jiana yes ma'am uh, uh, can i repeat the question uh, I, i have to repeat the question yes 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 Okay. So, how do you envision? Like, uh, let me make this question a little bit easy. Like, how do you? Uh, uh, just tell me. Like, uh, uh, can they balance for uh, both challenging parts and the positive parts for after school jobs that I have just told you uh, in the uh, slide number two? I think. Very good question. Do you think if uh anybody i mean people like you does a uh, you know after school job would you be able to strike a balance between whatever challenges you face uh, in terms of society individual or family would you be able to strike a balance between your academics and uh, you know the home life the the uh, personal life yeah 
how do you see yourself going about it? How are you going to manage it? Please raise your hands to answer this question. If yes, if no. In both the cases, I want the answers. Ma'am, can I? Yes, Abhi. Uh, so obviously it will be diff difficult for us to have the challenging part and the positive part also but yeah uh, with, uh, we have to uh, make a time we have to make a timetable or like a, we have to manage our time it will ta surely take some time but yeah with uh, time we will learn it and uh, in the end we could uh, manage all of the things okay Okay, so thank you, Avni, for responding. At least you tried your level best. So I'm um, skipping a uh, second question for now. The third question is, in your opinion, what role should schools and parents play in supporting teens with after-school jobs? Like, will they help them or uh, will they not? Uh, like, something like that. Just try. Diana, would you mind zooming the screen? Mom, uh, mom, if I will zoom like uh, half you screen, you need to tilt it. Will you be able to do that? Is landscape mode? Mom, no, mom. In no, I won't be able to do so. Okay. In my opinion, an after school job that I would take must be influence. Yeah, so yeah in my opinion an after school job that i would take must be influencer because like i am not uh like doing this for money i'm doing just for fun so uh what's your opinion about that like would you do this or is your choice same as mine please tell vanshika um i'm like if i would have been at diana's place i mm -hmm. would have choosing i would have choose rather to work mm -hmm. in a cafe okay. uh, rather than uh, like rather than being an influencer because if you are working in a place with a lot of people so you will uh, know the like different types of choices of them and uh, how uh, and how uh, they treat with people and how they be with them so mm -hmm. in that ways i would really prefer to be uh, in a job that is more social with people. Yeah, so very well explained, uh, Vanshika. Uh, will anyone else answer for this question? Would anybody like? like to try that. Yes. In my opinion, I would like to do the job because uh, it, will, it, uh, it will increase my skills and it will be good for me as well. Uh, it will also tell us the value of money and uh, it would be a fun also, like you said. That's why I would like to do as well. Yes. Was, would you be, would you rather like to be an influencer when you will do an after school job or would you like to have any other job? No, ma'am. Yeah. I would like to be uh, doing other job. What so that what job? So what job? I told it in my PPT which it will okay. not be Okay. Okay. You don't want to okay. reply right now. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Namaskar. Uh, thank you for uh, being a part of my pe uh, presentation. Thank you so much. Very well done, Gianna. I always appreciate this effort of yours uh, because uh, um, at such a uh, tender age, I mean, you have been explaining things so well. And so confidently, it really makes me proud of you and your parents. And uh, I think uh, you are naturally uh, inclined towards uh, English and uh, various activities that you try bringing up in your PPTs. Uh, and this one is really different when it comes to the language that you have used for making up the questions. So really, really nice. Uh, and I would say God bless you. Keep your efforts up and... Uh, Keep driving the English way, right? Wonderful. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, now I want uh, Samriddhi to start. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Can you see? Yes. Uh, okay. 
so like as we know like in the western side of the world like after school jobs are really common like teenagers are performing for example working in cafes gas stations what has happened uh, like working in cafes restaurants and all but like what if it was made a compulsion so mom why the changing itself um i'm just a second okay Okay. Uh, so like what would happen if uh, compulsion was there of performing after school jobs? So we will study about the various impacts that it would make on behavior, family, society, as well as an individual's life. So first of all, starting with behavior. So like they would have a great responsibility on their shoulders. For example, managing their time in school as well as performing their jobs efficiently. And they would also become mature because when one has to perform a job, there are a lot of responsibilities that come along with it, with, which make a person uh, mature by themselves. But the other thing that is negative is stress. Like uh, when teenagers are in ninth or 10th, they have a lot of work burden because it's just a change of syllabus and they can't really handle it. So stress will be there, first of all, for work, earning for their family, second of all, managing their academic scores and as well as their physical well-being. And third is tiredness, like completing their homework as well as uh, managing their job, for example, because it contains a lot of physical work, which may lead to depression. And like many teens may have a difficult life after that because many may just stop their life at that point because it would be such burden. Now, what would happen to life? So an individual life, there would be a lot of burden on their life because one is studying in a school which may provide a lot of homework as well as doing a job which is providing a lot of work to do. So that will increase their burden which will definitely impact their life. As well as their social life. Samradhi, are you changing the slides or is it just the first slide you are speaking on? Of after school job. First of all, the family will have more income. Mom, you are you were out of the meeting. Yes. So first of all, they will have more income because a new member will be there in their family which can earn for the family. And also the family time will be affected. Because as a teenager, a person has to do a lot of jobs. Uh, and if like they have to also perform a job outside of school, so their family time will definitely be impacted. And next is the society. So basically on society, the impact will be of competition. Because if there is a compulsion, so teenagers must perform a job. And for performing a job, they must be efficient in doing that. So like people will be uh, having competition in their studies as well, as, as well uh, for being employed. Because employment is not as easy as we think. Because even adults are unemployed. And the next is less educated. So if people are focusing on their jobs, they might lose their interest in studies or it might be difficult for them to manage because it's not necessary that everyone will be able to do it efficiently and they will be able to manage everything. So either they will be bad at job and earning or either they will be less educated because they can't really focus on their schools. And then last one is new fields of jobs because people, it's a compulsion. So people will try to make themselves self-employed or be employed in other fields. So this will create more job opportunities as well as new fields that uh, one had not even ever think of. Uh, so that's all for the PPT. And I don't think it's necessary to make uh, it compulsion. Because it's not really such a good idea for teenagers to burden them with a responsibility at such a tender age. Thank you.
Wonderful, Samriddhi. You um, basically right now served as an epitome of a perfect uh, combination of uh, a PPT and a presenter. You know, uh, uh, I would say a uh, you know, model PPT and a presenter because uh, the, the way you were speaking and the one-liners which I always appreciate it is the part of your PPT and uh, the enemies are adding fire to it. Thank um, you, Ralph. Yes, I, um, I could sense from your excitement yesterday only that, yes, you have put in your creativity, your uh, brains to it and not only creativity and brains, but also your heart because uh, then all the things are connected, then only such super flow in presentation comes up, then you do not need any kind of, uh, you know, rehearsals or practices, it's spontaneous. And that's what I could notice in your uh, presentation, Samriddhi. And uh, yes, it's very rightly said when you put this opinion forward that students will be less educated because all of, all of them are not sharing the same level of, uh, you know, acumen, the, the, uh, the intelligence basically so yes uh, some would be uh, under stress and others would be having uh, their time so I think you have rightly balanced uh, your approach uh, with the kind of words you have used the opinion you have placed and plus the two things the PPT and you together so very well very well done very well nice. like first I made a different PPT but I was like no I don't like this so I just changed it because I was not able to put all the stuff in it because like I was not able to type at that time. You know, so I just had some screenshots, so I just pasted them. It's really working out well. Very nice, Andrew. Thank you, you ma'am. Okay. Ne next in the list uh, of your attendance is Saksham. Is he here? Yes, Saksham is there. Saksham, are you prepared for the presentation? Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, that's really nice. Good to see you presenting. Those who have not prepared it, they can just put their uh, opinion in front uh, while just uh, seeing the notes from your notebook or just speaking spontaneously. That will also be a good effort. Wonderful uh, section. You've put in efforts nicely. Press the animation mode. The slideshow mode rather, not the animation slideshow mode. Yes, Hello everyone. Today I Saksham Ura is presenting a presentation on after school jobs of in teenager life. So let's start. If sustaining an after school job is mandatory, what would be your answer? Of course, yes, because many changes will be take place in our life, agree or not. First change will be take place in teenagers behavior. You, do you know how? Let's see. One of the major change will be seen in his or her schedule. How they will behave with each other and do the work on their time. Behavior is the, as behavior is the most wanted uh, thing seemed in the employee. Second major impact will be on their families. Most of the most of the times they need to ship themselves to metro cities and most of the time they ship very far from their families through which their family members need to live in the absence of their children. Third major impact will be on individual's life. They have to manage their requirements and need themselves only. They have to come out from the student's life and realizes that Things are not that easy and the people are not as nice as you are. Most of them feel grown up, responsible and independent. Hence, we can say that it is the most important changing stage of their life, which eventually make them more responsible and intellectual citizen. Thank you. Great, crisp and precise. I'm... Uh, the first, uh, you know, beautiful part of the presentation is that you are presenting it one because uh, um, it's, I think, very uh, less likely have uh, seen you, uh, you know, on the window uh, speaking, 
you know, so many words at one time. So this is a great uh, thing for me that you are at least speaking. And uh, second is I've always appreciated uh, for your thoughts that you have. I've talked to your mom also regarding the same that uh, you have got different thoughts and uh, the similar thoughts got reflected in here also uh, that you felt that you have put forth that people will become more responsible uh, and there will be independence, a sense of independence with them. And the, the you know, very beautiful line that I've uh, found here is that uh, uh, life uh, will not be like as they think or people will not be as nice as you are. You will feel more grown up right this applies for everybody so um this is the best part of uh, the presentation uh, which i found and uh, in case such responsibility fall on your shoulders i hope uh, you you get uh, good people to talk to and good responsibility to carry on and the pvt uh, display was uh, good it can be better and uh, some spelling mistakes were there um and I think uh, improvisation is a way always uh, towards the perfection. Uh, but I'm really glad that you spoke. I hope you haven't taken help of anybody. Saksham, can I have you on video also first? So yes. that you can talk to you basically. So did you take help of anybody, Saksham? No, ma'am. Ma'am, no one was at my home when I was preparing. I could uh, make out like in the first and the second slide when you wrote the answer as your response. Yes, I would like to take the responsibility. It was more of like a conversational mode. So it was again an impressive uh, touch that you have given to your uh, presentation. So I think uh, miles to go, Saksham, you're doing good. I think this is your first uh, initiative. This is your initiative, I would say that for the very first time you've come up like this and spoke in front of others. So very good suction. Keep up the spirit. Thank you. Okay, good. And uh, next in the line is Mukul. Mukul, you were, not there, you were not there since 8th of uh, November, I can make out. And uh, so of course you are not uh, uh, aware of uh, what is going on in the class. But as I just said in the beginning, uh, observing all others, you can create it on spot. So are you able to give your opinion um, you know, for this topic that uh, what will happen if teenage or after school job is made compulsory? Mukul. Ma'am, uh, on the, this topic, uh, I will make a PPT tomorrow. Okay, I'll see to it. <clears throat> okay. Next. Rhythm, Rhythm, uh, do you have any opinion to share? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, wait a minute, I'm open. Oh. Yes, Siddhi. Ma'am, actually, I want to tell you that I have made a PDF, not a PPT. Is it okay? No, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Now, you can start, Siddhi, anyways, after Rhythm, it's your name only. Ma'am, may I speak? Okay, Rhythm. No, after school, it is not mandatory to do jobs. It will not. It will not only and only change the behavior of the teenager, impact on society as well as impact on family and impact on individual life also. Only buy this job because it will destroy the life of a teenager if their family is suffering from financial condition. Teenager might might or must have to live his her life of family. It will make the teenager as confused and stressful. Now, how it will impact on society by less time to get into trouble. That's it. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, Radham. I always appreciate this thing. Uh, this is not the first time that you have shown up uh, impromptu. Uh, there have been in the past also instances when you stood up uh, unprepared and uh, you had this, uh, you took this challenge uh, that you wanted to speak. And today also you have shown the same spirit. But, uh, you know, I think uh, pre preparation is always better than going unprepared. You know, uh, you have this risk-taking ability all the time that, you know, I'll show up on the spot. I appreciate this, but try to manage with the preparations also. Uh, you have kept your opinion uh, precisely. I appreciate that. And uh, nice job done. 
at least you didn't step back uh, when you are in the class. So that is uh, a plus point for a good student. So for that, I would congratulate you because this is a part of your personality rhythm. Nice job. Now, Siddhi. <clears throat> Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so like uh, instead of Siddhi, I'm sharing her PDF because she isn't able. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Like she's sharing my PDF. Yeah. So screen start now. Um. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, I'm muting myself first. So. And speak now. Yes. So, everyone, it's Siddhi Sharma this side, and I'm going to present a presentation on should your team take an after-school job? So, yes. Jenna, uh, let's move to the second slide now. Yes. If the if the child, if your teenager will do a after-school job, so he will so he would uh, he would be uh, good at various skills. Such as, uh, such as like dance or music. If it the uh, if he or she will do a teacher job, so he will uh, so he will learn various small things from the children, like whom he's uh whom he's make them study. Like uh, many teenagers uh take the tuition. Next part, third slide. It would be good for their career as well because. If the uh, because if they will do an after school job, so they would be, so they would be good at various skills, and it would be good for their career as well. And because the and because they would get a good career, so their parents will be also happy. Next, now if they would be uh, good at various skills, they would be uh, they would get. A good job, and uh, and from that they can get it, uh, and they can get money. So they will, uh, so they will also earn the value of money from the jobs that their parents do, and earn them, and earn it for them. So it, uh, so their parents will know that the children are getting responsible, and parents will get happy. Uh, I would like to tell that. And if they would be getting a job, so they would be uh so they would have a good career. They would step by step they would, uh, get more. Jana, yes. So uh, whenever like they will get a good job, they would be good. Uh, they would be good, responsible, and their behavior will also be good. So that's why it would be uh, there would be a good impact on the society as well. That uh, many children of the small age would see him or see him or her and learn various things, various good things like to be kind, to be skilled, and various more things. So that would be a good impact on the society as well. And if they would do. So, uh, so, and if they would do uh, after school job, so they would be good at learning goals, skills, mental experience. It, they would experience various things and they would be a development in their life as well. Thank you. That's all. But I would like to tell one more thing about that. that uh, as you asked, what job I would like to do? So that job would be a dance teacher because dance is my hobby as well. So I would be good at this and I would learn and I would be able to teach this thing to very small children. That would make me happy as well. Thank you. That's all. Namaskar. Good one, Siddhi. Uh, <clears throat> you have assembled a nice PPT and you have uh, taken uh, the biggest risk ever for uh, a speaker that is uh, not to have any captions uh, only the pictures are speaking for themselves and uh, you have taken this biggest risk I'm telling you because this happens uh, only when you are an expert speaker and then you try to take these types of uh, 
you know challenges when there there are no captions and it's all in your mind but you have to speak so uh, to a certain extent you were able to uh, you know lift that risk uh, up uh, but some places i felt that you were little um not clear in what you are speaking because uh, the last slide basically which refers to the internship internship is a shorter period of the job maybe you know ending for one or two months and then over there it was written learn skills goals mentors experience so you you mentioned in your line that you will learn skills goals mentors and the experience so you do not learn mentors you do not learn goals they are you know it's just the sentence formation that you uh, goofed up at uh, but uh, the story behind the mind which was playing over there and uh, uh, the ppt that you put forth um, they were having 80% uh, resemblance of your thoughts but uh, i think uh, had you added a little bit of content in terms of just one line or two line it could have been a better presentation but I want to mention that being in class six, if you can uh, think that high and present that well, I think uh, you all are gearing up, uh, Gianna, Prisha, and Siddhi, all of all three of you. So I'm I'm happy that uh, you know you people are carrying it so nicely, you know, as our future yardsticks. So very nice, uh, Siddhi. Once again, and <clears throat> well, actually in the last slide. Uh... I was uh, I was about to speak another thing, but uh, like Jiara did that, uh, it was a bit outside. I could not see that whole word. That's why it would be. Oh, never missing. mind, never mind. I can understand such things keeps on happening. Now next is Vanshika after Siddhi. Vanshika, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Um, can I start? Yes. Why is everybody not doing a slideshow thing? Why am I seeing the left side also? Uh, yeah. So, greetings everyone. Today, I, Vanshika, am here to share my views on the topic that whether the teenagers should apply for after-school jobs or not. So, uh, applying for a school jobs uh, would have many uh, uh, effects on a teenager's life. So, starting from the effect on behavior, so the so so the changes in the behavior might be feeling independent, like um, like they may be feeling free and having the independence of earning and spending their own money and knowing the value of even a rupee or cent. Uh, that would make them uh more uh, conscious about uh, the money and how to spend it in a useful way and getting to know the world with a new mindset that everything could happen here uh, here and we must uh, be uh, like like we must be here with the, our whole attention uh, impact on uh, our society so uh, the sense of the outer world being more confident of yourself and learning how to manage time so if a teenager would go for after school jobs and then also uh, he or she would have to manage the time to uh, to be at least uh, better or uh, or to cooperate with their uh, like rest of the classmates so in that way manage of uh, like managing of time is uh, the most important thing um impact on family of this Family's lifestyle would be compromised, and they would get a habit of being more social with their parents, and will share new experiences with them. Because uh, like every day, you would meet a uh, new people with new mindset, so you would be very eager to share the uh, say, like share your day with your parents. That would uh, like improvise your uh, connections with them. Now, impact on individual's life, increase lifestyle. So uh, the teenager can bring money to the house, which will increase the lifestyle of that house, of course. And savings, now moving on to savings, they would learn how to save more money for their larger expenses. Financial habits, 
the teenager can learn healthy financial habits that will benefit later them uh, that that would benefit later in them in their life um so uh, with this i want to say uh, i have something more to say that everything has a positive and a negative side too but it lies with our mindset that in which way we are taking that before or after we all have to work for ourselves so rather we should start working from now only so that we must be familiar with it so at last um thank you everyone for listening to me and paying attention thank you good one again manshika um so academically of course you have been nailing uh, every day this was no exception and uh, the kind of ppt you have created with various collages uh, you know on it uh, of course it takes effort for everybody i'm saying that it takes an effort to create a ppt with the mindset that you are having and of course finding the pictures of your similar thought process is a very irritating and sometimes very a meticulous process because uh, the kind of picture that you are searching for if you not get the single one you know having that emotion or expression on the face then the entire effort can get failed so that two hours uh, hard work or three hours hard work uh, or maybe sometimes you are so lucky that you make it in 15 minutes uh, you know it happens you know it depends on what day you are operating uh, so i think uh, you you did a wonderful job anshika in this and uh, of course uh, the points that you have shared have got a similar tone as others have uh, provided uh, and uh, the way you explain it i mean uh, one liners are of course there and the best part of all of you is that you are now learning to walk without uh, singing along the powerpoint and that is the best version of you i can find as of now in this year uh because this is what i have been expecting for very long time and you people have showed it up so early mm -hmm. and uh, this is a plus mark for all of you and color combination of ppt was very nice bright uh, teenage color and uh, otherwise you know showing the blue uh, sorry yellow was a teenage color and blue is showing the challenge part maybe sometimes the darker shades so it's a good combination right so good good uh, deal done vanshika when you presented very well great and now we are left with uh, avni avni are you on with it anshika is not prepared right after anshika we have anshika in the list anshika mam can i start i'm prepared one minute avni anshika Anshika. yes mam uh, have you prepared uh, impromptu speech just like rhythm yes mam okay you can speak up no teenagers should not do jobs after school hours because some of the students do not get time to do their homework and revision in which they are getting the loss in their studies some of the parents do not allow them for doing their jobs they thought that their um, their work should be focused on the studies so in my opinion they should not do jobs after school be confident and do not end so softly which shows that you are under confident or you have doubt on your own opinion and thought this is the uh, worst way of ending when we end so softly and with uh, choppy words it shows that somewhere we uh, are guilty somewhere we are nervous somewhere i do not know whether i'm correct or not so these three combination reflects in your voice so don't show that ever you have put your comment uh, i mean you have put your op opinion forward that it's not good parents might not allow or whatever you have said and you said it very well i i'm i'm happy that uh, it was an organic creation you haven't copied from anywhere but you have put your own thoughts your own wordings your own language was there that was the plus point simple but plus point because you've created on your own always trust your creations never be dependent on the uh, you know always on the google sources okay of course you can take help of them but nothing like organic creation even if you are at level 1 i would say that organic creation is the best creation because it's your version of how you are progressing you will get to see that where you are okay and then you can progress further so anshika i'm happy that you took this step again uh, just like rhythm and you didn't uh, i mean i would always appreciate that uh, if you speak those lines with your video switched on then it would have been the best attempt because you didn't try to hide your face so um 
kudos to you i think you are walking on the line on which other uh, teams uh, are there already so now you are the part of the community already and uh, that's nice and shika you are yes, ma'am good yes diana ma'am i was saying that are you giving marks to us no no marks okay ma'am like you are just checking that who has done right mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Next in the line is Manvi. Manvi, would you like to uh, give your opinion? Manvi. Mom, I will show you tomorrow. Okay. Avni. I'm just. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, I'm sharing it now. Um, so hey, uh, greetings everyone. This is Avni and today I'm here to speak on the topic and present, uh, my views on after school jobs for teens. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Avni, Avni we cannot see any slide. No, nothing is getting shared. Okay. Um, ma'am, let me check. No. Um, ma'am, it will take me a minute. I'm not able to see. Uh, Avni, uh, can I help you? Um, let me just check. I think uh, there's some problem with the slides. Okay. Let me just check. Mom, it would take me. Mom, it would take me a more uh, a minute more so anybody else can present till that time. I think you are the last one. <laughs> no, ma'am. Ma I'm still remaining. Kian has got it. No, ma'am. So, would you like to present your opinion that way? No, ma'am. Ma I will present. You will present, na? That's what I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so go about it. Go about presenting it. Yes, ma'am. I'm uh, one second. Mama, are you able to see? Yes, I can see that. Ma'am, can I start? I know. So, as you all know, today we will be discussing the impact of compulsion of after-school jobs. But before presenting this, I would like to add my own point that the compulsion of after-school jobs would have two extreme impacts, either positive or negative. Now, moving with our presentation, we are we are going to discuss about the about the first point. What will be the changes in teenagers' behavior? First, it will help teenagers to it will help teenagers to learn about how to manage money. And the second is how to is it will help to develop teenagers' sense of responsibility. Like teenager would uh, like the uh, who is. Uh, doing after school job would learn to do uh, sell and buy the products and will learn about to how to finance money uh, and will also develop skills like to sell or buy the product by bargaining etc now moving to our second topic what will be the impact on society so 
mandatory after school jobs uh, could potentially uh, hinder overall education attainment like uh, it will like if uh, uh, you are uh, uh, you are uh, in the market like suppose in the market you are working as a shopkeeper uh, in teenage years after school job your uh, uh, neighbors would think why what are the conditions why is he uh, like uh, doing job in such a young age so it will uh, uh, impact the society's intellectual capital now moving to our third point what will be the impact on the individual's life what will be the impact on the uh, teen who is doing the after school job so there are positive and negative ways first the negative ways a uh, study work balance so like uh, it will like uh, it will uh, um, it will disrupt the balance yes ma'am yes ma i want to be said disturb uh so and uh, he will not be able to do the homework or whatever he will not uh, uh he will not the save the time to do the homework or to do another activities uh, like if there you are supposed to go in a competition and you have to prepare a thing a model or a drawing so you can't be able to prepare it properly it will take days because uh, you won't have enough time after the school job homework etc but there are positive points also like skill development if you i already told uh, that in the first point if you will uh, uh, bargain uh, buy or sell things it will develop your skill uh, mm -hmm. and the second uh, point is that financial literacy uh, uh, it will uh, teach about money management like i also told in the first point first uh, point now moving to our fourth and the last uh, uh, point impact what will be the impact on the individual family who is uh, doing the after school job uh, so there are three negative uh, negative ways but one is positive so the three negatives are time constraint like the, i already told you that the child uh, teen won't get the time to do his homework or uh, won't get the time to spend with his family Uh, and the second is like parents will be always stressed what will happen to my kid etc etc about his studies uh, about their future uh, because he is doing the your uh, job in such a young age and the academic impact like uh, uh, like what will be the performance in his uh, marks and school uh, which will cause uh, uh, also cause stress on the families uh, and uh, and relatives also because the relatives are also close to uh, the teens and us also uh, but there will be financial benefits so benefits also like it would help family to uh, uh, to uh, uh, the teen will earn more money uh, and the income of the family would also increase there would be uh, there would be more uh, things that uh, uh, they could manage the family could manage with that money so thank you all right kian it was comprehensive i think a uh, lot of feelings emotions and uh, thoughts are being put into uh, to create uh, such a marvelous uh, presentation with the you know up uh, updated uh, view point uh, presented through the animes uh and the animes that you have chosen were really uh, striking and apart from that the categories that you have created you know you have divided the presentation in four parts these are the uh, challenges or uh, plus parts or the minus parts they were good i think uh, these are called as infographics so you have used that uh, thing knowingly and knowingly i i am not sure of but uh, they they really are good and uh, uh, you did well it was comprehensive though because you were getting uh, rolled over in your own words only which little created uh, you know a moment of uh, uh, monotony boredom uh, for some time but uh, ultimately i think uh, you you have done the task that's the best part so kian good job done ppt plus but you have to focus more on the way you deliver it should be organized one
okay now as far as avni is concerned avni it's 52 already i have my another batch waiting so along with manvi rhythm anshika uh, you will be presenting tomorrow uh, give it a shot okay and try to complete the entire presentation within 10 minutes only all all of you who are presenting because we have got other miscellaneous activities to be done tomorrow and uh, that's it right so great job everybody namaskar thank you so much Uh, Mama, not Saturday.